Hi, everybody. So from time to time, um, I make hummus quite often, and people kind of ask me, Alex, how do you make that hummus? So I decided today that I'd just make a little kind of instructional video on making hummus. So let's start with the ingredients. First off here in my colander, I have two rinsed cans of um, chickpeas, the two 15 ounce cans, because I'm gonna make a double recipe today. Um, I've rinsed off all the gook, can gook out from them with some water, and now I've kind of let them dry off, uh, getting as much of that water off of the chickpeas. Next, I've got two lemons that I've cut up. Uh, I normally use about one lemon per can, so again, double doubled. Uh, I normally use about two cloves, two to three cloves per can. Um, I don't want to go too crazy with the garlic today, so I've got five cloves here. It's kind of in between. Uh, next is tahini. Um, I'm going to use approximately about two tablespoons of this. Uh, probably, I think, the most important ingredient in making a great hummus is the olive oil. Um, I have a really nice uh, Spanish olive oil that I've really come to like for, for specifically hummus. Then I've got uh, this um, red pepper that we call Aleppo red pepper, but this bag is labeled Marash red pepper. Whatever that is, it's the kind of Middle Eastern version of an ancho dried chili, I believe. Uh, black peppercorns, uh, ground cumin, already pre-ground, it's fine. Um, and salt, I use kosher salt, but you could always use normal salt. I don't really think it makes a big difference. All right, so to start, before we get going, um, I really recommend using a food processor. I just have a Cuisinart, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't recommend doing this in a blender or a Vitamix. You can do it. I own a Vitamix. Um, I just don't like the way it comes out. And um, it's just not really worth thinking about. So first off, I throw my garlic into the food processor with nothing else. And now I'm just going to run the food processor just with the garlic to grind it up. Get all that garlic. All right, so now all the garlic is basically ground up pretty well. And now we're gonna take those chickpeas and dump them into the food processor. Hopefully without making too much of a mess because I'm holding this, I'm gonna do this. Great, so now I've got my chickpeas in the food processor. Bad camera angle. So now I'm gonna walk back over here and grab my lemons. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna set this down and finish this up like this. So now I'm gonna squeeze the four lemons into here. This must be super fun to watch at home, even though this is my home. <laughs> All right. Actually, I'm going to start with one and a half of the lemon. And um, I personally like my hummus to kind of be on the balanced side and not overwhelmingly one way or another. Um, some people like it to be really, really strong in the lemon. I don't. I like it to be just kind of medium on the lemon. So. I'm going to start with uh, one and a half lemons. I bet I'm going to add more of that lemon. Uh, next, the tahini. That's this stuff, right? Sesame paste. Um, it is pretty integral in the hummus. If you can't find it, you, I guess you could make it without it for kind of a more low-fat option, but we're not going for that today. So we're going to put in two tablespoons of the tahini. So now, let's see, that's what it kind of looks like in the food processor. <clears throat> and I'm going to put in the cumin. Again, not everybody uses cumin. That's fine. I do. People like it. I like it. I have 
no idea of how much that is. I'm going to say it's about two heaping teaspoons, but you can use a little less, you can use a little more. It's up to you. Again, black pepper. <clears throat> a lot of this stuff, you know, I go back and taste it to see if I want to adjust it later on. Alright, and grab the salt. Salt, again, I think it's probably one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons that might need to be adjusted later. Alright, so continuing on here. So that's now what my food processor looks like. Still haven't run it again yet. <clears throat> now I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my uh, this red pepper. This is this red pepper really is is optional. I'm gonna put two nice pinches of the red pepper in there. One, two. Do it. And finally, and again, like I said. Really important that you have good quality of this olive oil here. I'm gonna <clears throat> so the olive oil is what's going to really uh, make the consistency of the hummus. The amount of olive oil that you use um, will determine how smooth the hummus comes out. Some people I know use water for this stage. I guess if you wanted to make a low-fat hummus, you could do that. I, I don't really recommend it at all. I, I think it ruins it. So we're gonna blend this up and see what happens. <clears throat> now that's a pretty good start. You can see some of it has uh, kind of, it's not all, all ground together yet. So I'm gonna grab a spoon here and kind of get those extra parts that aren't worked in yet. You can also use this as a chance to taste and see what's going on. Tastes pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> see what's going on in there. That's just about the consistency. I like to get it, so I'm gonna say that I, maybe I used um, two oh, two tablespoons of olive oil. It's really kind of a feel thing with the olive oil. Now, after I tasted it that time, I uh, decided it needed a little more salt and a little more cumin, and that's that's it. That's making hummus. It's so simple. No reason to buy it in the store. I only, I only ever buy hummus if I'm absolutely desperate and there's nothing else around. It's just because it's so easy to make at home.